Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to discuss about difference between path and class path in Java. Well, both are environment variables set for a different purposes. First, let us understand what path is. So path is an environment variable used to find and locate binary files like Java and Java C and to locate the needed executables from the command line. So let me show you that from the command prompt, we wanted to execute like Java is a command. So when I press enter, you can clearly see that operating system says that it is not recognized when as an internal or external command, even if you try Java C, right? So this is also, it says it is not recognized as an internal or external command. So this is because operating system is not able to find these executables, right? Where these executables are located, right? So how do we are going to solve this is, we need to actually set the path of these executables in the path environment variables. So how do we know if that is already set or no, not, right? So for that type echo percentile path. Case doesn't matter in Windows operating system. So if you press enter, you can see a list of values here, each one separated by a semicolon, right? So in this list, if you find Java, or Java path, right? So that means, so Java path is added to the path environment variable, but we don't see that here in this list, this in this list of values, right? So we need to set the Java path to the path environment variable. So this is where Java has been installed. So we need to set till bin because this is where the place, the executables are present, Java and Java C, right? So this we are going to set now. And how we are going to set the path is set. It's simple, set path equal to already existing path, semicolon, the path, this path, Java path, right? So which means that to the existing path, just append the value which I am providing here. That's the meaning of this. So just press hit, enter. This will be added to the path. We can check that. So you can see this was not there earlier, right? So this has been added to the path environment variable. Now we need to, so let's try Java C now. So you can see now we have the output, right? Earlier it said operating system was not able to find the recognized uh, command as an internal or external command, right? So, but now it's able to find it, find the command as we have set the path, right? And, and you can also see Java executable as well, right? So you can see some, some comments, right? So it, it is actually giving an options, uh, which you can use it as a help, right? So this is how we can actually set the path from the command line, right? Now, let me open a, another command prompt window. And if I type Java here, so it still says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, right? So this is because whenever we set the path within a command prompt window, so that is applicable only to that session. So if you open a new window, so then that's gone. It's not applicable to that window. So how do you make this path or how do we set the Java to the path environment variable as permanent, right? So I'm going to show you that now. So press Windows key on your machine and type environment or just type ENV. So you get an option here, right? Edit the system environment variables. So just click on that. Click on this environment variables button and you see here two parts, user variables for user variables and system variables, right? So in the system variables, search for path variable. You can either double click it or just press uh, edit. So you can see the list of values. These are the list of values we have seen in the command prompt for the path environment variable. So here we need to add the Java, Java path, right? So till bin, we need to add it as one of the values to the path environment variables at the end, right? And just click on okay, right? So once we are, we set the path permanently. So let's come back and hit Java again. So it still says Java not recognized because the window doesn't actually know the change which we made in the path environment variable. So we need to take a new window, new command prompt window. Now see, when I say Java, so we get the list of options, right? 
and even you can open a new window as well any number of uh, command prompt windows so you can see it still works this is because we made the change permanent we have actually set the java path to the path environment variable right not uh, not within the command prompt window but we have set it at the environment variable operating system level so the change is permanent now so this is about path environment variable now let us understand class path so class path is also an environment variable used by the application class loader or the system to locate and load the compiled java byte codes so which are stored in the dot class files right so let us understand that now so you can see a program here right uh, first program dot java right so this is a java program now we wanted to compile it so let's compile that or let me just open a new command prompt window so i am compiling the java program now i get a dot class file you can see here this was not there earlier now as i compile the dot java file we got the dot, dot class file right now we wanted to execute this so if i try to execute this so it says could not find our load main class first program right so this is because we need we haven't set the class path because java compiler was not able to find this program dot class file so dot class file was not found for, for this program right so this is because it was not able to find that in the class path so class path environment variable has to be set so if we set the class path environment variable then java compiler will actually try to find in that class path either the dot class is uh, found with this name right so let's actually see if class path is actually set or not echo class path so it was not set now we need to set the class path and add so add where, wherever the class dot class file is present so this this path has to be added to the class path so how do we set it is again set class path equal to the existing class path semicolon the class path which we wanted to add right mostly uh, the path where the dot class files are present so we have set the class path now we can actually try to execute the class file and now you can see so it actually displays an output which is present in this first program right so the first program is meant to actually print just print hello world so it actually prints because we have it is able to uh, find the dot class file in this class path so java compiler was able to find the dot class file within this path that's the reason it was able to execute the program successfully so this is a, about class path and again the same issue when i open a new command prompt and if i try to you know run the program so the change is not affected here so because the change is not persisted and it was only limited to this command prompt session so how do we actually uh, set it permanent is again go to environment variables and here we need to define a new variable so earlier what we did we had a variable called path we just added the java path to this path environment variable but in this case we need to create a new variable called class path so click on new say class path and add the so the path where you have the dot class files so this is my path so just add this path save okay so we need to exit this session command prompt session and then open a new one now see first program so we got the output we didn't get any error now 
right so like this you can actually open any number of uh, command prompt windows so the change is permanent now we have set it at the os level right the uh, a class path environment variable so what does java compiler do is when we say java it's an uh, executable right so java executable and it try when we actually provide a name here that is the program name right so it actually tries to find a dot class file with this name and tries to run it so how do it find this class file from which path it should actually pick it from the class path which we have set at the environment variable right so this is the this is about class path and we can actually override the class path as well set hyphen class path and you can provide the you know path any path here so which actually overrides the existing class path so it is uh, okay first program not defined okay it, it is not actually set so we have to say java so you can see the output right so this actually overrides the existing class path so say for example you have some uh, you have many dot class files in one path and you have set it in the class path variable but you might have some other dot class file in in some other location right so you don't need to change uh, the environment variable right to the class path so for only for that execution it, you can actually override the class path so how do we do that is so i just gave the same path so instead what we'll do is let's do one thing so let's copy this dot class file into location c right now it's present in here in this location now what we'll do is java c so we will set the class path i'm actually overriding class path and trying to execute the program see we got the output so this is because it has actually so it is actually executing the first program from this path it is picking from the c drive so we are just overriding the existing class path right so it was able to find this first program in this c drive this location so this is about the class path environment variable now coming to the differences so what are the differences between path and the class path right so both are environment variables we know and what the difference is so path is used by the operating system right and class path is used by the java compiler right path is used to find the binary files or the executables whereas class path is used to find or locate the java byte codes stored in the dot class files so you can simply say that it it is used to find the dot class files so these are the main differences between path and class path and one more difference is uh, we can override the class path right whereas we can't override the path variable we can override the class path so these are the major differences between path and class path right so that's all for this video thanks for watching